Hi guys, Sammy D here and welcome to a brand new video and I've got another commentary here for you with some more Black Ops 3 beta gameplay and I just want to tell you a bit about how my day went today. A little, only a little bit, only briefly. And so I've been staying up quite late um, playing the beta and have to get up early for work and uh, now it's finally the weekend. Uh, I got to Friday night, last night and... I just crashed out. It was like 10 o'clock and I went to sleep. So this morning I woke up like stupidly early. It was like 5 o'clock in the morning when I woke up. So the first thing I generally do when I wake up is check Facebook, Twitter and all that, all that jazz. And I go to Twitter this morning and somebody on Twitter had tweeted something along the lines of, Oh my god, I hope Ali A is okay. So I start to think, like, why, what, what on earth has happened, right? And then I'm scrolling through Twitter and I'm trying to find out, you know, a bit about, like, what I'm, it might be talking about. So check Ali A's, you know, feed and nothing on there. And I'm thinking, well, what? Yeah. And it, it made me a bit a bit nervous. Like, I, like, I'm obviously a massive fan of Ali A's videos, of both of his channels, to be fair. And he was the reason I started YouTube. I'm a huge fan. I'll, uh quite happily admit that uh, and then while I'm scrolling through Twitter trying to have a nosy at what's happened I see this page on something called BuzzFeed and it says Ali A the famous YouTuber passes away in hospital shortly after a terrible car crash and it goes on and on about you know his channel and who he is and everything and then it says shortly after one I'm assuming one in the morning today Ali A was pronounced deceased upon arrival at a local hospital, the Royal London Hospital, uh, he was all involved in a head-on collision with a bus. Um, you know the rest is history. Um, and for a second, I, I genuinely believed it, and I'm sort of like looking through, keep looking through, and I'm thinking this can't be like legit. Um, trying to find something to suggest that it wasn't actually true. So I'm looking through Twitter and eventually i think everybody came to the conclusion it was fake and then like a few hours later um ali a did tweet saying you know that he was okay but for that moment like i for that split second i genuinely believed that he was dead and i just think what sick twisted person could make up something like that not even just because he's famous or you know like obviously uh, a massive youtube channel but just in general, like, you have to be really sick and twisted to lie about something like that, to make it up. And, I mean, that's how, like, nervous I was, like, when I read it. And you imagine, like, if his family or something would have seen something, seen it. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, you, you just can't go around making shit like that up. It's, you've got to be tapped in the head to, you know, lie about something like that and make it up. And I just, I don't understand why anybody w could want to do that i mean like obviously there are going to people who, be people who don't like his content on his channel and or you know there's obviously going to be a lot of people who are probably jealous of the fact that he's successful but at the end of the day i'm pretty sure he works very hard on you know his recordings and creating his videos and everything um you know there's always going to be people out there who don't like you for whatever reason but just to go to that extreme to go to that length and what do they gain from it just i mean on the on the actual link on the page the buzzfeed page it was an anon an anonymous post anyway i i just don't i don't get why what somebody could possibly gain from writing an article like that and lying about it and just upsetting potentially upsetting a lot of people um and apparently what surprised me, well i say surprised me it probably didn't really surprise me as much as it i thought it would but apparently it's not the first time it's happened and i just think like are people really that bitter you know can we not just be happy for each other's success and i mean at the end of the day he must have worked hard to get to wherever you know where he is now i mean it, things like that don't come easy it's not just like he sits on his ass doing nothing all day like some people do um 
you know, he must work hard on his videos. And I just think, like, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Fair enough. I just, but why go to that effort of causing so much trouble and making that up? And it is sick to lie about something, to make something like that. And I just think whoever did it is just not right. It's not, it can't be all there because it's twisted. And, you know, I suppose... Ali A and not just him but like other big YouTubers are probably used to stuff like that happening but it shouldn't even happen I, ju I don't get it I, I just don't get it I mean it's never been right is it to lie about I mean lying's bad enough as it is but then just to lie about the poor kid dying it's oh it, it, it's it's not right but anyway um, I'm glad he's okay <laughs> I'm glad nothing bad did happen. Um, and it was also nice to see all the support, you know, from everybody else, you know, that he does obviously have a lot of fans out there who care and are genuinely supportive of his channel. And, you know, um, that was nice to see. Obviously, you know, this and would have been nicer in better circumstances, but hey... So, I'm going to end the video there. Now I've done ranting again. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you enjoy the gameplay. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.